my name is Addison Sparks. I graduated from IU in 2020 with a bachelor's in biology and a bachelor's in Spanish, and I'm now a first-year medical student at the University of Toledo. I chose this career because I really like helping people and helping them heal, and I also find the human body to be very fascinating. I like to work with every body system and figure out, you know, what went wrong and how I can fix it. In my career, you can work internationally through organizations such as Doctors Without Borders, and you also have the opportunity to work with a lot of patients from different countries and different backgrounds. Personally, I work with a lot of Spanish-speaking patients. I speak Spanish, so I'm able to communicate with them fully in their native language, which I found to be very beneficial for getting those small details and so the patient can convey exactly how they're feeling and exactly what they're experiencing. I've also found that you need to have the ability to work within cultural requirements. Some cultures may have um, expectations or standards set up and you need to be able to fit your treatment plan within those cultural norms so that your patient can adhere to that while also, you know, maintaining their cultural beliefs. For someone in this career, I definitely recommend to um, just be able to talk to people. That's a very underrated but very useful skill. As a physician, you're communicating all day, either with your colleagues or with your patients or their family. You really have to have the ability to, you know, make small talk and for people to be comfortable coming to you with things and so patients can open up to you about what they're experiencing. You also need to be able to incorporate new information and be very open to learning a new piece of information that might change your whole treatment plan. But that's okay because that is part of the discovery process is when you learn new things and you take that into consideration and you keep going. In that same vein, you also use a lot of different resources to come up with your plans. You need to be comfortable with consulting um, you know, different texts, different online resources, and your colleagues as well. And for advice to people coming into the field, I would say that you need to be open to new experiences. I th it's important to get volunteer experience early, and you should really be open to anything that comes your way. You might love it, and you never know until you try it. And I also believe that, of course, academics are very important, but it's also important to give time to yourself. You know, allow yourself to be who you are and spend time with your friends and definitely develop some hobbies along the way.